For Buckeyes Now on Sports Illustrated, I'm Brendan Gulick, and this is the Buckeye Report from Ohio State Basketball Media Day. Can you believe it? It's already Basketball Media Day. The winter basketball season is just around the corner. The Buckeyes report for practice in 48 hours from when we shoot this here on Tuesday, September the 28th. There's a lot of excitement around this team, and for good reason. They've got a ton of players returning, a lot of good young core, but boy, they also have uh, a couple of impressive transfers that have come in uh, and two new freshmen that added to the roster. Just so that I don't miss them, I'll, I'll read them off here real quick. But Cedric Russell transferred in from Louisiana, and of course Joey Brunk uh, came in. He, he's had a great relationship with Chris Holtman for a while. He's in from uh, both Butler and Indiana. Uh, and then Jamari Wheeler transferred in from Penn State. Guys that uh, certainly think they can make an immediate impact for the Buckeyes here in, in 2021. Then Malachi Branham and Kalen Etzler, uh, the two freshmen, as part of this freshman class. Both of them Ohio kids. Kalen from Crestview out on uh, the far west side of the state. And, of course, Malachi from up in, uh, in Akron at St. Vincent St. Mary. And, the, and then, of course, a, a returning cast of characters, too, that uh, fans certainly got to know and love last year. Zed Key had quite a following with the finger guns by the end of the year. Um, this team certainly saw some, some really good production from Justice Suing. Obviously, E.J. Liddell is in another leadership role. Seth Towns says he's healthy. Kyle Young is looking forward to the starting of the season. Um, there, there are a lot of reasons to feel pretty optimistic about where this Buckeye team can go here in 2021. A couple of observations from Media Day. Um, this group is lighthearted and fun, and boy, do they look athletic. Um, they, they, to a man, everybody I talked to said that this has been a really good offseason for them. The general consensus is that they've had discussions about the way last season ended, both with the, the kind of the tail run of Big Ten regular season play, uh, the incredible run they made through the Big Ten tournament where they eventually fell just short in the championship game, and then obviously the disappointing end of the regular season, uh, I'm sorry, the, the uh, NCAA championship with the, the opening round loss to Oral Roberts. But for the most part, this group has kind of put that behind them, recognized that they had a lot to learn from last year, uh, and they're excited about the challenge that lies ahead of them, knowing that the Big Ten is going to be another good, chess, uh, good test for them here in, in 2021. Um, they are very much looking forward to a couple of big non-conference games against Duke and Kentucky in particular. Uh, and, and this team thinks that they've got a legitimate chance to win a Big Ten championship. Jimmy Sotos is healthy after coming off of his injury last year, which was super disappointing for him because he was starting to play well when he got hurt. Eugene Brown had a great offseason. Um, guys that, that are really enjoying being here at Ohio State are, are buying into the program, really truly love what this thing is all about. Um, had a lot of really good things to say about the coaching staff uh, and you just get the impression as, as you typically do at media day when everybody's got a good attitude anyways, but there is a, a good energy around this group. Uh, and as far as EJ Liddell is concerned, I know a lot of people are probably wondering what he learned from uh, his, his NBA draft uh, process and, and going through all of the stuff related to what basketball could look like for him in his future. He said he received a ton of really good feedback. Essentially, it was, you know, keep doing the same things that you're doing and just get better at them. Um, it's not, there, there's not a glaring weakness in his game that he needs to address to be able to play at the next level. Uh, and NBA draft scouts just want to see him continue to, to improve all, all facets of his game, knowing that he's got a lot of innate talent. And so he's, he's pretty driven. He knows he's going to have a, a target on his back. He's not going to sneak up on anybody, that's for sure. He's one of the top returning players in college hoops. Uh, he said he's been working a lot on his passing. Looking forward to seeing how that, uh, how that manifests itself. Um, I think the other big takeaway ahead is that Joey Brunk is a big dude. And the Buckeyes have really needed somebody in the in the paint. Um, I, I think the combination of him and Zed Key could be really, really good in the post for the Buckeyes here in, in 2021. I'm Brendan Gulick. We're uh, over at the at the Schottenstein Center, Value City Arena, and we're wrapping up media day coverage. We've got a ton planned for this basketball season and really excited to unveil it and share it with you here very soon. Buckeyesnow.com is your place to follow Ohio State basketball. See you real soon. The Buckeyes report for practice just two days.